Principal Component Analysis in SPSS, abbreviated as PCA, is a statistical method. It is a reduction technique that is commonly used to analyze data extracted or collected from a questionnaire that is based on a Likert scale whether it is five points or seven or nine likert scale the objective of performing the pca for a questionnaire data is to uh, reduce the number of the items and uh, group the items into uh, groups or constructs or factors or components and the items that are included in each component load together and hold together and measure uh, the same construct if you find this video useful do subscribe to the channel leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of several different video clip and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graph, Pad, Prism, G Power, Python, and RevMan. Here in this SPSS data view, I had inserted a data extracted from a questionnaire. I have only inserted for the purpose of explanation uh, nine items or nine questions and these questions the participant will have to choose from one to five so it is five point Likert scale the respondent will respond by or respond by either selecting one two or three or four and five one for strongly disagree and five for strongly agree there are 200 participant who um, filled the questionnaire to perform principal component analysis and to try to find out whether some of these items can group together can load together uh, uh, to um, represent or be part of a construct or a factor or a component then the principal component analysis statistical method can be performed and the way to do that in SPSS click on analyze scroll down to uh, dimension reduction then select factor for factor analysis and then in the new window select the nine questions or items and drag them into the area for variables here there are several selections that we need to to choose from click on descriptive in the descriptive window Click on univariate descriptive for the correlation matrix. Click on coefficient, significance levels, determinant, and KMO, and the partlet test of sphericity. So all these are essential to take them on this window. Click on continue and for the extraction click on extraction 
the method to use for extraction there are several here I'm going to stick basically for this video to perform principal component analysis PCA click on that and then keep the uh, uh, unrotated factor solution ticked in and then tick on screen plot and then click on continue for the next icon click on rotation in the rotation here uh, fa for factor analysis method there are two types of methods orthogonal or oblique orthogonal is performed when the factors are not related they are not correlated orthogonal include varimax equimax and quartimax for the other type of method which is when the factors are correlated it is called oblique method and that include direct oplimin and pro max and for the sake of this video i'm going to select the oblique method the direct uh, oplimin uh, method here and then i will click on continue for the scores no uh, selection will be taken here click on continue for options Check on the uh, exclude, exclude cases list wise and for coefficient display format tick on sort or sorted by size and suppress the small coefficient and I will choose that to be less than 0.3 uh, absolute value below than 0.3 click on continue and then click on OK several tables and um, chart is produced the first table shows that there are nine items and the mean and the standard deviation is calculated and there are 200 participants and there are no missing data here or values the next table is an important table that shows the correlation matrix between each item correlated with the uh, another item from one to nine with a significant one tailed p-value is generated here what we want to look in this table is that the correlation between items should be in the range between 0.3 to 0.8 anything less than 0.3 means that there are less correlated or there is weakly correlated and anything above 0.8 it indicates that the items or the questions are strongly correlated so we don't want a very strongly correlated items uh, and the ideal is to have between 0.3 and 0.8 for negative correlation the value should not be greater than uh, minus 0.8 and if we look here we can see that item 1 uh, correlated strongly with itself so it's absolute correlation a value of 1 uh, or the R uh, for 1 item 1 and item 2 it is 0.65 and for item 2 and item 3 it's 0.4 and so on what is also important from this table is the determinant the determinant has to be greater than 0 0.0001 1 so the value of that determinant has to be greater than 0.00001 so 0 0.40s and 1 any value of the determinant higher than that then the PCA can be performed and here 
we can see that the value is greater it is 0.04 and that is the data can be considered for PCA the second table is the table for KMO and Partlet test the Kaiser Meyer uh, Oakland uh, measure of sampling adequacy the value for that has to be greater than 0.5 and here it is 0.55 which is acceptable and the value for the p-value has to be less than 0.05 so we need this p-value to be less than 0.05 i.e. significant so these two condition has been fulfilled so PCA will be performed for these uh, data the next table is for communalities uh, it shows that the communalities extraction values for each items represent the proportion of the variances for each variable that can be explained by the factors scrolling down to the uh, next uh, table here is total variance explained the table shows that there are three component component number one and two and three and those three components can explain 68.4 percent of variances so the analysis has reduced the items and grouped them into uh, three factors or three components or three constructs that can explain 68.4 uh, percent of variation or variance the next plot is the scree plot based on eigenvalue it shows that anything above the one value there are three component generated one and two and three scrolling down to the button uh, uh, matrix this table shows that three component or constructs or factors has been generated one two and three the table shows that component one have three items item number four and six and five load together uh, and uh, grouped uh, under the component one here we are looking for a higher value a value greater than 0.45 the cutoff point uh, or cut, the cutoff value is greater than 0.45 and as we can see here that uh, item 4 6 and 5 load together and they have a strong value here uh, and as it's shown here the next uh, component which is component number two there are three items that load together strongly the value is 0 0.9 0 0.8 0 0.79 and this component or this factor or this construct include the item number one two and three moving to the component number three there are three items that are grouped into that factor or construct item number seven item number nine and item number eight with a strong value of 0 0.8 9 0 0.7 and 0 0.6 so the pca had grouped the nine items or questions into three components or construct or factors each component have three items in it uh, for component number one two and three these items hold together to be part of a construct moving down here to the last table which is the component correlation matrix 
this table will shows the uh, relationship between the components or the factors or the construct here we will look for any value of greater than 0.32 that can indicate that components are correlated and as we can see here nothing is higher than uh, or nothing um, greater than 0.32 so from this uh, table it is clearly shown that there is um, uh, no correlation between component 1 2 and 3 or 1 and 3 or 2 and 3 which will uh, give us an hint an indication to go back again and repeat the analysis or the PCA analysis choose a rotation method which is for uncorrelated or unrelated uh, factors uh, such as the orthogonal method can be very max or it can be um, other uh, methods this is the way to perform PCA analysis in SPSS for data deduction for uh, an instrument or a scale that is based on five Likert scale or any other scale in SPSS if you are a student or a researcher and you have a data whether it is um, um, quantitative or qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages my contact details are given here so don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course.